Tonight, police are looking for what are likely juveniles who were involved in three robberies and shots were fired during that on Tuesday. Juvenile crime has been a huge problem in Minneapolis, but there is an especially disturbing element to this latest incident. Fox 9's Karen Scullin live now with more. Karen? Well, when it comes to juvenile crime, you've probably heard of the revolving door where kids commit crimes, they get arrested, go to JDC, kicked back out again, only to commit crimes again and go back. But in this latest incident yesterday, what's interesting, almost all of those arrested were first timers. A crime spree ending with kids crashing two cars and running from police. One literally dodging I-94 freeway traffic to make a getaway. All six were caught. One 14-year-old girl remains in the hospital and should be fine. Five were booked into the juvenile detention center and have already been released. This is what's typical uh, when we have arrests for juveniles, especially if they have no prior contacts with police. Arrests for juveniles for being in stolen cars. This started Tuesday morning with three street robberies, a series of cars being stolen, shots fired and crashes. The rash of violent and dangerous juvenile crime still growing in Minneapolis, but this time only one of the six kids, ages 11 to 14, had previous police contact. The other five are first timers for police interaction. Keep coming back to talk about juveniles and stolen cars and the the violence and, and dangers that are often associated with it. Um, I just I cannot reiterate uh, just the urgency of the need. Uh, to help to help try and address this problem. It's likely any charges won't stick, so they'll be recommended for juvenile diversion programs. With that, O'Hara says some kids do find success, but some do not, like the child caught driving around a playground just last week. The 10-year-old uh, that we talked about last week was diverted two or three times previously. All of this, a very dangerous game these kids seem to be playing, with police arrest appearing to have no impact at all. At least when we're talking about uh, the kids that are recidivists over and over again, no. Um, and it doesn't, seem, it doesn't seem like we've even taken the fun out of it with the kids that are just, you know, over and over and over again. Now, it does seem to be that there is a third vehicle involved in all of this. They found the third vehicle, but it was unoccupied. So Chief O'Hara says there are still more suspects out there, and those are the suspects that are believed to be directly related to the robberies and the shots fired. No gun has been recovered. We're live in South Minneapolis. Karen Scullin, Fox 9.